to episode 13 of the Steak and Eggs podcast. Today, I am joined, as always, by Asmongold and our guest, Extra Emily. I'm so happy to be Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Emru is out of town, but she'll be back next week, and we miss her very much. However, on a positive note, the support on the Patreon has been crazy. So for all you guys who've been going there and checking that out, just know that we appreciate that a lot. Yeah, thank you guys so much. And so, uh, yeah, welcome to the show, Emily. Thank you, Asmin. I love the set. So cozy here. Really? Okay, good. Yeah, I, I really like the set, too. It, uh, I, It's just a big chair, and I can sit in here with my blanket. It's just like my house. Oh, perfect. Yeah, and Emmy brought her curvy before. So I can hold it. So, bro, you are not real, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Like <laughs> you are crazy. I've I I remember I've met you like during streams uh-huh. like multiple times, and then you know eventually when streamers go off stream, a lot of them have like the whole, okay, you, you turn it off a little bit, right? Yeah. Bro, you are the same on and off stream, and it is crazy to me. Really? It is, yes, it is. It is crazy. Well, uh, do you just love life, or yes, I love life very much. <laughs> Okay, sorry. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're all good. Um, I love life, and I don't know. I just like being excited, but I do definitely have like my chill out moments where I'm like, mm. I just love to sleep. So when I'm sleeping, I am very quiet. How much do you get? Uh, nine hours at least. There That's you go. Good. That's smart. That's yeah. what I try to do too. Is sleep as much as you possibly can. Mm-hmm. It's like I will wake up early and I will be like all of the bad things that are supposed to happen to you if you live the way that I do. That's how I feel if I only sleep for like five or six hours. Yeah. And it's like I, I'm building up a force field around myself by sleeping. Asmund, do you think you're dirty? No. That's what I think too. Techie, are we dirty? Y'all too? Yeah. No. Nah. So, <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. So yeah, because like somebody made a clip and they showed me this and it was like you saying that you wore a shirt two days in a row. Like yeah. this is some kind of a big deal. Exactly. Like, oh, everybody, oh, too good to wear a shirt two days in a row. Get the fuck out of here. Of course it's fine. I agree. As long yeah. as it doesn't smell, it's totally okay. Wait, y'all wear the same shirt two days in a row? If it doesn't smell. Uh, Wait, have you gone longer than that? D- yeah. Uh, so- What's the longest? Oh, uh, man. Uh, a week? Like of, of, of one shirt. Yeah, of one shirt. A month. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking gross. That's amazing. <sighs> yeah, I, I don't really sweat. I'm a, you know, I'm a, that's what I say. I'm not a dirty guy. I'm a clean guy. So it's fine if I wear a shirt for a whole month in a row. I, right. Because, like, I, I will get a shirt in a month. That's how dirty other people make a shirt get in a day. Yes, you're just very clean and put together as we yep. were, so it's totally fine. That's right. Exactly. I never get my hands dirty, never get dirty at all, and uh, you don't start no problems, there won't be any problems. I, yeah. I, sh- I shower twice every day, but I still oh. change. Yeah. Ew, really? It's my favorite thing. I have time for that. It only takes two minutes. Oh, you guys get in, beard wash. I don't got no hair. Yeah, see, for me, it takes longer. See, the hair, the hair. Uh-huh. Like because I keep myself so clean. Plus, dude, oh my god, I go to the store called Lush. Oh. So whenever I walk in my shower, it smells like fruit and rainbows, and yeah. like oh. it smells like fruity pebbles every single time I go in there. Lush. And, and then I then I take moisturizer. And the best thing about being bald is when you moisturize your face, you can also moisturize your head at the same time. Mm. Oh, and yeah. I get coconut butter. Oh, it feels so good. It is so refreshing. Why don't you just wash your beard in the sink? Why would I do that? I don't know, because they don't have to get your whole body wet. But that's fun. I like I like that. You wash your hair, your beard in the sink, Asmund? No, why would I do that? That's nasty. You wash your beard. Because like, how are you going to get down in there in the sink yeah. and have it be like, oh, you got you to get in there? No, I just wash it whenever I take a shower, and then that's it, you know? Really? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not that big of a deal. So you've been a part of OTK for like, what, like six, seven months? Uh, Longer? Three. Three months? I joined January 31st. So what day? Is that? Yeah. Okay. So that that's like four months. Yeah, four yeah, months. Yeah, something like that. OTK. Yeah. How's it been? I love it. It's so great. I, I would have moved to Austin regardless because yeah. like Austin has so many great people, you know? But um, OTK just makes it 10 times better because I get here with you guys. Yeah. And uh, I just like, it's like so nice having a support system mm-hmm. around me. And do you like your house? 
Yeah, house is great. With a what, Wajito and Senna? Yes, yes. Uh, it's like super nice. It's full of plants. Senna has a lot of plants. So So what's it like living with the, the world's number one Twitch mod? Oh, my gosh, yes. <laughs> He's going to love that I called him that. Wajito works so hard. <laughs> yeah. He actually like is very helpful around the house, too. Mm. Like he buys the Ethernet cables and stuff and pays the bills. I don't know how to pay a bill. You yeah. know, I just, pay, I just pay the money. I think Mojito yeah. is... He has everyone confused, and wow. I think he is a jackass. Okay. Here's why. And you know what? He's going to make up some excuse that he's probably right about, and I'm probably saying this for no reason. I bought a monitor from him for $1,500. I bought, bought a monitor from him for $1,500. You got swindled. That is right? a swindle. I yeah. did. I did. And he said he was going to come hook it up. <gasps> and he never came. It's been three weeks. Well, he's a mod, not a mechanic. Mm. No, but he told me he was going to do it. Oh, uh, yeah. He said he was going to do it. And every single time he says, well, then just because here's what he's going to say. Here's what he's going to say. He's going to say, well, I told you to tell me when to come over. I have. And then every single time I do tell you, you say that you can't. So just tell me when you can it is so crazy. Well, why don't you just install the monitor? Yeah, do it yourself. I'm useless, bro. Really? <laughs> yeah. There's no way you don't know how to install a monitor. No, but it's it's this big. Oh, it's a big boy. It's big and it's curved. Ooh, the curvature. Yeah, it's like. What the hell do you need that for? Well, I didn't. Yeah. Right. But then chat bullied me to buy it from Mojito because Mojito comes oh into my, my chat. God. He says he wants to give me it. And I say, yeah. well, like, I'm not going to take your stuff. I'll buy it. Right. And then chat's like, well, I'm like, how much do you want me to buy it for? And then chat's like, let us pick. And I'm like, uh, OK. Uh -huh. And so then I put a scale from one to fifteen hundred. OK. All right. <laughs> yeah. I and then I roll it. Where this goes. Yeah. <laughs> It's 1500 Perfect. And I'm like, oh, my God. And then Wojito just starts spamming, bro. No way. I, I paid him the money. I just want my goddamn monitor hooked up, bro. Or I just, yeah. I, I just, don't, I just don't want it in my house. It's so big. Yeah. I'll, I'll take massive. it. Massive. No, I'm good. So is it like a <laughs> monitor or is it a TV, though? It's a monitor. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So wide. Yeah, like, it's, 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 like, wide. It's, like, thinner and wider than that big TV. Jesus. Two right what? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, that is such a... What are you doing with that? Honkai store, bro. That is true. Well, you got the character. You got Seal. Yep. Wow. Yes, now I just need... Now I just need six more. Yep. Six more. That's right, <laughs> gentlemen. Keep spending, and, Techie. And he doesn't have the light cone, which is, like, her weapon. He doesn't have that either. So you got a lot to go. Oh. I know. So how has it felt being free to play in a gotcha game? Um, it is actually so fun. Like, it is so fun. Really? It, it, it makes, like, when I'm a whale, I'm like, oh, that's a character I want. I get it. Yeah. But, like, as a free to play, if I don't get it, I'm going to lose my mind. But thankfully, somehow I grind enough currency to actually get Zila, which yep. is insane. And I have Bronya, which are my two favorite characters while free to play. I kind of want Jing Yuan because my buddy voice acts for it. His name's Alejandro Saab. He's amazing. So hearing my buddy in the game is actually really weird. I don't know if you guys are actually yeah. like close friends with any voice actors. Oh, no. Like when you're like playing the game and then it's just like, what the fuck? Hey, what up, <laughs> man? Yeah. Yeah. Like, what, what are you doing in here, man? <laughs> uh, so I'm probably going to have to skip on Jing Yuan. And the new banner was just released too for 1.1, which is going to be Silver Wolf, um, Silver Wolf, uh, Locha, who is an alternate version of a guy called Otto from Honkai Impact 3rd, who's like the main anti-hero. Uh -huh. So he's probably going to be a very big deal. And then some really sexy fox girl as well. We're getting a new sexy fox girl for a four-star. Sexy? Which I'm excited. But uh, yeah, Honkai Star Rail's taken over my entire life. Wait, it, what is free to play? Like you so don't basically free to play, like you know like a lot of these games, yeah. like how they make money is they have like these gotcha mechanics where you spend money and it's like there's a chance for you to get a character right yeah playing free to play means that you don't spend any money <gasps> like you're basically a second class citizen <laughs> like, yeah you're like you're, yeah. you're one of the peasants and yep. you know you just I, I you're well in a way like you're getting the game for free though right so yep. like who's the real peasant like they're making it they're working for you for free wow. yeah and so uh yeah that's exactly how it works and so some people make free to play accounts where they don't do any gambling they don't mm. spend any money on the game and they only get what they obtain in the game got it yep. you right? have that no how much have you spent over a thousand dollars really and the character uh you know tech was so excited for yeah i already have her maxed out <laughs> yeah She's yeah it's done like well for me like i just do it for content and then after it's over that's it you know like i said fuck that you know you go in there you make the content there it is all right 
and then you're fucking done. Yeah. But for me, my ass, I grinded for 104 hours Mm -hmm. so I could get one copy of her. And it wasn't even guaranteed. I had to get lucky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you you did get lucky. Yeah. I remember, did you see the clip of me watching you? Did you get an ad? I didn't get an ad. No. Oh. I got five. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I got five ads. And then finally, after the fifth ad gets done playing, it just shows the picture of you with the thing up there. It already happened. (laughs) Oh. It already happened. Yes. It was so annoying. I was so mad. I I definitely am realizing I have a much bigger problem than I thought uh, because I was rewatching the clip of me getting this character. And yeah. my veins and my head are popping out of my skull. My head has gone completely red. <laughs> I like, at the top? Yeah. That's cool. Like, my heartbeat's going like, Ooh. like the whole time. Uh-huh. And like, I like, I got lightheaded. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I pretended to pass out on stream. Yeah. I will admit. But like, I was fainting how excited you I was. You were close. <laughs> I yeah. was. Holy fuck, I love that game. It's bad. Do you see Lakari? I want to swipe, I want to swipe, I want to swipe, I want to swipe, I want to swipe. Yeah. yeah, I remember seeing that. Yeah, and then he does a ritual dance to get a five star as well. Bro, it's so funny. Yeah, I saw that with like that stick and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, oh yeah. The, these games are really great content for people that are that have no self respect. Oh, good. like if you have no self respect. <laughs> and, and the thing is, like, so it, it goes both ways because if you're free to play, you have no self respect because you're playing the game like a fucking slave. True. Uh-huh. And, and you're sitting there and you're on the conveyor belt and they're feeding you pennies and yep. you're like, oh, please, I hope I get a nickel today. <laughs> and, and then you're sitting there playing with these shit characters and it's like you're just barely getting by. But then the the whales aren't any better because, like, yeah, they've got a great character and, you know, all this stuff, but they spent a thousand dollars on it. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like, oh, I spent a thousand dollars on what? On, on a fucking cartoon waifu? Yep. No, I have three of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I think so. the, the cool thing about gacha games is like, like everybody who plays them is a loser, but it's yeah. solidarity. But it, it's like there's different kinds of losers, right? Yeah. They're like losers that they have a really nice job, so they have really good characters. And there's also losers that like, and, and then they use the characters to like inflate their ego. And then other ones that don't have a job, don't do anything, live at mom's house, and they're like, "Man, like I be, I still beat this dude. I could still beat this dude. He's not good. He just, he just wails. That's it." Yeah. So, and the thing is, they're right, but it's like they do have the better character, so it's like this weird fucking thing. And like, yeah, seeing the uh, the the community in these games is just so funny to me. Yeah, they're good. Speaking yeah. of losers, something that we really have to talk about: uh, OTK Elevated. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. That was crazy. I, I really enjoyed watching it. It was fun. That was one of the most painful things. Really? I thought I thought I was ready. Because you were right. You were right. I thought I was ready. I thought I was ready to be big dick. We fucking say, hey, get the fuck off my show. Yep. Man, that's not me, bro. I can't do that shit, man. Well, the thing is that I feel like, yes, obviously, I was, uh, I, I did decline people. But I don't think that I was wrong. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, like, the first girl, whenever I was like, nope. Yeah, like that, was, that was a bit mean. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. But overall, I tried to just say, hey, fuck it. Like, I mean, it's, you know, it's the show, right? And people don't like it. That's too fucking bad. That's the way it goes. Yep. I think you gave constructive criticism. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't think there was anything crazy or like there was nothing mean that I said, right? I was yeah. just being like, hey, this is, this is how it is. Dude, I was like... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, bro. I I was ready to tell them what I needed to tell them, but I was like, shit, if Asmund is the one who can kick him out instead of me, shit. Well, that's bro, why you I, go I, ahead. Could tell, I could tell him, like, Tecton, you wanna start? And you're like, no. <laughs> like, you know, and I know, and I know that you know, and you know that I know that you know. Yep. It's like, okay, who is going to be the Grim Reaper? Yeah. Who's gonna be the bearer of bad news? And it's like, okay, well, yep. I all right. It was it was so funny. It was it was the last person. Mm-hmm. Me and As, we both know each other was going to say no. Yeah. <laughs> it was back and forth. It was so funny. Well, and it's like the guy was entertaining and he was good. It's just that, like, I know what kind of shows these are. I know the audiences on yep. Twitch. And it's not even like the, the guy. The guy probably would do fine. It'll be all right. But it's just that the kind of audiences that are, like, mainstream that watch shows like this, they're not going to vote for a guy like that because it's just not that's that's not their audience. Yeah, I've seen I've seen a couple of contestants after the show yeah. uh, after they got booted off. They were 
They were not happy on stream. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it was funny. Right. Well, yeah. No, they're, they're, they're just pissed. Oh, really? They're yeah, but, but, it, but it is. The, the thing that everybody needs to realize about Elevated is it's really not about it, okay, it is about who wins, sure, but yeah. it's just like yeah. having like a, a cool stream. You know, yeah. if you get on it, you're already like, you're already up, you're already having a great time. You know? Yeah. And you, you, I mean, I've seen like some of the people that are on the show like getting hundreds of viewers now, right? And 100%. So it's, like, it's obviously like working and they're obviously getting an audience out of it. So, like, even if you don't win, it doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. So, I, I think that as long as you're getting yourself out there and everything, you know, the winning is, is better than losing. Of course. But, you know, even whenever you're losing, it's still better than not being on the show. I have a hot take where I actually think that being the runner up is better than winning. Because what? everybody thinks that it's like, oh, you should have won. Yep. And they're like all on your side. They're like, bro, you got robbed, man. Ooh. Yep. But the yeah. winner gets 50K. That's true. The 50K is nice. That's perfect. But, but the runner up, like, oh, man, you should have won bonus. Like, it's yeah. huge. That's true. That's it is true. huge. You have an episode coming up, right, Emily? Yes, mine is uh, in two days. And I, I'm nervous to be, like, the bad guy. Yeah. But I'm just going to, like, be honest, I think. Like, I think if that's I don't the like best it. thing to do is, like, just try to be honest, have a good time, and that's it, right? Yeah. Who who are your co-judges? Uh, I'm going to do it with S-Fan and Nick. That'll be fun. And oh, you boy. know Nick is a fence sitter, so I'm going to have to be the mean one well, here. Well, Nick will be the one. Nick will be the reality check. S-Fan will be the nice guy, and you'll just be like, yeah. Nah. Well, I should just be Yeah, mean that's what I expect. Be, like, I should, I should just be mean to, to yeah. be scary and make them. Just to start off like that? It. Yeah. Yeah, they'll be so nervous. I, I would have said you don't have, like, what's in you to be mean until I saw that clip of a. Uh, Mizkiff booting your car. <laughs> oh, God. So what happened? Did you see that shit? No, I, I don't know what happened. Yeah. Oh, so basically, um, I parked my car, like, down the street. Uh -huh. But I pranked Mizkiff by taping a ton of sticky notes onto his stream room. Uh -huh. It looked really pretty, by the way. I thought it looked great. But Miz wanted to get back at me by booting my car. Yeah. He's like, I can't find your car. Where the heck is your car? But uh, so he, he was just telling me that entire time. And then he's like, go check, Emily. Your car, your car is gone outside. And as I'm going outside, I run by Emmy and Bonnie. And then Emmy's like, oh, yeah, like we were going to boot your car, but we couldn't find it. And I'm like, oh, we should just pretend like he actually did boot my car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I had to become a real actress there. So then I went down to Miz and I yelled at him and he like had real fear in his eyes. It was great. He was just like, what the fuck is going on? Yes, he was like. Because like he thought it didn't even happen. Exactly. Yeah. And I was like screaming at him like, you definitely booted my car. Car, ho. <laughs> yeah. And then he's like, I didn't, I swear. And it was great. <laughs> it, it was the most like, it, it was like unbridled anger. Mm -hmm. I've never, like from you, it is so weird saying that side of you. I had yeah. to like, like compose myself before. Right. And I was like, okay, be an actress. Did you go to a place? Like in your head, did you yes. go somewhere? Where'd I you go? Into the deep, deep abyss. All the dark thoughts coming out. <laughs> yeah. Back in my head. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I, I was happy to be an actress. Yeah. And then apparently I got like, I fooled a lot of people with it. So. Oh, yeah. People were messaging me. They're like, why is Emily mad at Miss Kiff? What did he do? Oh. Did he, is Miss, what happened? Oh, my God. What is this? <laughs> really? They were yeah. Messaging me? Absolutely. Yeah. No, a lot of, a lot of people on Twitch, like, whenever you tell a joke, they're not laughing. They're like, wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Yeah. And then they're trying to figure out for 10 minutes if exactly like what you're trying to. Yeah, say. exactly. And like trying to make sense out of it mm -hmm. 100%. What do you think the angriest moment of your life has been? Uh, do you remember any of that? Because, like, generally, like, for something that authentic, yeah, something must have fucking pissed you oh, off oh, to be able to go to that place. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me think here. I Usually, I don't really get angry. I get, like, more sad than angry. Yeah. But I know when I get angry. Mm -mm -mm. It's yeah. when people cut me in line at Disneyland. What? What? Isn't that evil? That when is did that happen? actually so evil. It's so so vivid in my mind. I'm waiting there patiently, going on to the Jurassic World ride. How long? Okay. How long ago? Uh, I don't know. Maybe like five years ago. Okay. I remember it so clearly. And I'm waiting like a patient person. Right. Okay. And I just hate line cutters. They just sneak by me, say, "Oh, let me sneak past you." And I'm like, "Hello, I was waiting." <laughs> and then I get like really angry because like they have to wait in line too. Right, yeah. If they have the fast pass, I get it, cause like I didn't get the fast pass. But if they if they don't have the fast pass and they're just cutting me, like yeah. how rude and just not very like I don't know. I hate it. How much is it to go to Disneyland? 
kind of a lot. It's like yeah. 150 a ticket or something. Oh, like, yeah. That's actually not as much as I would have expected. I thought it was like fucking $500 or something like that. I'm not sure. But then if you want to eat, it's like, oh. Yeah, now it's $500. Yeah. Until they get you they get yeah. you in the door. Yes. Uh-huh. And they're like, oh, do you want to have basic human, you know, survival rights? Oh, you yeah. want water. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's going to be $200 more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To stay hydrated. I, I am so glad that the angriest moment of your life was caused by being cut in line at Jurassic Park. Exactly. It's <laughs> that like, makes me so happy. Wow. What about you guys? You have angry moments? Uh, oh. Um, so there was one time, I mean, there were a lot of times. Like, I remember I was playing a game. It was a GameCube game called Godzilla Destroy all monsters melee and it was a godzilla fighting game yeah and this was like at the height of my gamer rage days <laughs> and i remember i told myself i swear to god if mecha godzilla grabs me again i'm gonna hit myself in the head with a controller as hard as i can possibly do it oh. and i remember i did it and he grabbed me and i fucking hit him in the head or hit myself in the head with a controller and i remember like everything went like white Kind of. Oh, my God. And, and I was, like, 13 or something like that. And then I, I was, like, I laid down. I'm, like, and I looked at the controller, and, like, there was a mark on the controller <laughs> from where I had hit my head. And I'm, like, like man, I really got to dial this shit in. <laughs> <laughs> this is, That's how you know. This is, this, this is getting too much. This yeah. is out of control. <laughs> I was, like, 14. <laughs> what, it, so it wasn't even on stream? No, I did that just for myself. Wow. That's crazy, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I, and there were, I stabbed myself in the arm with a fork. Whoa. Why? Because I missed a spell reflect. Ah, oh, you know, those yeah. spell reflects. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. Jesus and then stabbed. Christ. Yeah. I think, I think the angriest moment I've had in recent memory, uh, which makes me feel fortunate is the is the game of League of Legends that made me quit top lane. Mm-hmm. There was this new, new jungle who was convinced he was, like, the shit. Like, he was the guy, right? He was talking in the chat, like, oh, yeah, I'm a diamond smurf. Like, just don't fucking feed. I'll carry the fucking game. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, okay. I did not get a single gank uh, for 23 minutes uh-huh. as top lane. When this fucking... I was, it was Teemo versus Darius. Uh, and this Teemo was under my fucking tower the whole game. And his ass went to Krugs. Do you know what Krugs is? I'll have, I'll be honest, Tiki. I don't know anything you're talking about, but keep going. Okay, some somebody watching this knows what I'm talking about. There's this thing yeah. called Krugs. It's right next to Top Land, right? Okay. So it's like imagine this. So this guy, I'm in Wendy's. Uh-huh. Okay. Wendy's, yeah. Yep. Wendy's. Yep. And I'm. Uh, let's say I don't have any legs, and I want oh, no. to go home. Okay. Um. This guy went to the drive-through. He's in the drive-through, right. and I say, Hey, can I go back home with you? And all he has to do is open a door to let me out of the store. Okay. And then I'm home, but he's like, no, nah, I'm good. He's a little bitch. <laughs> right? Yeah. He's, he's a little bitch. And I asked him five times. Mm-hmm. So I just, this was ranked. I stopped playing the game. Uh-huh. I ran it down. I literally just, when I spawned, I right clicked their Nexus and I, cont- I continued to, to die repeatedly. And I said, I explained to him, I said, you are a piece of fucking garbage. I don't want to win anymore. I want you to lose. And I'm going to sit here and you're going to say, and I even said, I know that your defense mechanisms are going to tell you that I'm lying and that I'm crazy, but I'm not. Mm-hmm. You are the worst human being on earth. Oh. <laughs> and I went up. This was this, I, I would type him for 35 minutes. And when they tried to surrender to end it early, I told my duo cue partner, I was like, say no. We are we are playing this out. We are uh, we played it. We're going to ride this ship down to the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. And the whole time I was like, so let me tell you how this fucking game works. Uh-huh. You're the yeah. jungle. You're the jungler. You're supposed to fucking gank. What you're doing is not that. Because he was a Nunu. Just, just everybody, everybody gets this. This was a Nunu who did not gank and did not do objectives for, for, for minimum 23 minutes. No dragon. No herald. We're ahead, mind you. No ganks. Oh, my God. I hate this guy. And then that was, I never played top lane ever again. So what did he say? Did you like, did, did you take it into like DMs after the game or anything like no, that? No, I didn't go that far. Yeah. I, no. I immediately left my room and then I watched some anime with my buddy Laro downstairs. Uh, yeah. No, I, I, he, he was just saying, oh man, fuck this guy. Mute him, report him. Just like spamming, report me, report me. And I'm like, dude, fuck it. I don't care. Ban me. Yeah. I don't, I, I, I literally told him, I don't want to be in League of Legends if you are a player in it. <gasps> there it is. It was, it was so bad. It was wow. So, I've never seen somebody misplay that hard in my whole life. And Holy fucking shit. You quit the game after that? No, no, I play jungle. Because oh. I said I'm never going to experience a jungle that bad. Oh. 
jungle. I will just forever play jungle. I have never played a single role besides jungle since then. Be the change you want to see in yes. the world. And when I did, I went from silver four to gold four in about you know, like a week. That's you know? so inspiring. It was actually insane because I was I suck. I'm not I'm not good at top lane at okay. all. But I went from like I think I was like Emmy was shitting on me a lot. I was like 13 wins and 34 losses and mm-hmm. ranked, which was horrible. Mm-hmm. And then I just swapped to jungle, and then I won 14 games in a row as Doctor Mundo only. And I'm like, holy fuck, <laughs> I'm the greatest. <laughs> holy shit, it was awesome. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was my angriest gamer moment. That was it. That's yeah. not really that big of a deal. Well, of, of recent memory. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. That, that's not too bad then. Yeah. Yeah, I used to, I get so mad at games. Like, anytime that I see somebody who's, like, playing a game and they're not freaking out, getting mad, banning people in chat, going on these, like, depressive fucking tirades about how bad they are and how worthless they are as a person, it's like, how do you do it? <laughs> <laughs> how does your brain work? How do you do this? I don't understand. Like and and you don't want to jump out the window right now. <laughs> you're you're smiling and you're not. Okay, this is this isn't an act. What the fuck? And now a word from our sponsors. NordVPN, with over 5,400 servers spread across 59 countries, today's sponsor NordVPN is your ticket to a truly open internet. Enjoy instant and secure access to hundreds of streaming websites worldwide, all with an ultra fast connection without sacrificing security. NordVPN's threat protection protects you from malicious sites, downloads, and ads. Plus, it's always on the lookout, even when not connected to a VPN. With NordVPN, all of your internet data stays safe behind a wall of next-generation encryption, ensuring your data will never be compromised. And if you have more than one device, NordVPN allows you to connect up to six devices with just one account. Whether it's for entertainment or security, NordVPN can help you navigate the internet confidently. I personally use NordVPN across different versions of Netflix. I love Japanese Netflix because it lets me watch anime earlier. And with NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee, there's never been a better time to start. In fact, this month, every purchase of a two-year plan will receive a huge discount plus four bonus months for free. And if you want the best deal possible, head on over to NordVPN.com com forward slash steak and eggs or click the link in the description for an additional extra month that's nordvpn.com forward slash steak and eggs and thank you nordvpn for sponsoring today's episode i just i was doing a you laugh you lose challenge and then someone donated a clip of you like raging and it Which made one? me laugh i don't know it was like wow you're playing wow. and then i go i hit my head oh not the hitting one you oh, like go up one. to the camera you're like what the fuck and then it was like a big monster you're like okay just gotta kill him now oh like, what um, the fuck what was what did I say? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's fine. Fucking... Yeah, that's Final Fantasy. Actually, I remember what? that one very well. Yeah. Oh Final my. Fantasy. Okay, I can't even tell. Uh, yeah, we died at point one percent. Oh. My and uh, God. yeah, it was a very bad time. Yeah, that that clip gets me laughing a gut out. <laughs> I I still can't believe that was like two years ago too. Really? Like it's so weird how like time flies. It's like I'll go back and be like, oh yeah, that's back in the day in like 2018. It's like, and it's like, yeah, five years ago. <laughs> oh god. That's crazy. And it's like, oh no. That oh no. Crazy. Why do you have to do this to me? Yeah, I realized that I was 29 yesterday. <gasps> yeah. That freaks me the fuck out. Oh. I, th- I thought I was 28. Yeah. Yeah. But- and then I found out, no, nah, I lost a year, man. That's it. But your thirties will be cool, right? No, I don't I'm, think anybody's thirties are cool. <laughs> I've been told I've been told by all the boomers, like, oh, the dirty thirties. I'm like, dirty. What, what the fuck does that mean? You're gonna go on like a like a sex campaign? I'm good, bro. Yeah, I got, I got anime not. girls for that, bro. I don't need that shit. Fuck that. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I think like twenty and forty are good, but like thirty is like that weird middle ground, right? Yeah. It's like elementary school and high school are fun, but middle school sucks. Like, Wait, did your middle school suck too? My middle school was awful. Honestly, I, I, I didn't really mind it that much. Like, obviously, like, it was, I liked high school and elementary school way more. But I had fun in middle school. Like, we used to have, uh, we used to do this thing where we would put, well, we'd, we'd throw food at each other. And we would put AOL CDs <gasps> in the microwave. <laughs> and like we, <laughs> yeah. and so so we had uh, we had like the coach it was like the football coach or something standing next to the microwave the whole time at lunch like this. <laughs> like, something in the microwave. Let me see it. Let me see what it is. And there was one time he got called out of the room to do something, and he left the microwave unattended. Fucking somebody got a CD in there. 
that fucking quick. And then as soon as he comes back, like it's smoking. <laughs> and he's like, oh my fucking God. I literally walk away for one minute. It's like, yeah, of course. What do you think everybody's waiting for, right? And uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun in middle school, but like high school and, and elementary school were, were way more fun. Mm -hmm. Middle school was a little bit awkward. Okay, uh, I want to go back to middle school in a second, but yeah. I had something pop into my head that I have to talk about real quick. Have y'all ever seen Monty Python and the Holy Grail? Yeah. Have you no. seen that? That's the one with the snake, right? Uh, the killer rabbit. Oh, never mind. Okay, real quick. Yo, Jay, can you pull up the 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 holy hand grenade of Atrioc? Dude, did you see King Charles' coronation? Yeah, with his big finger. They gave him the holy hand grenade of Atrioc for his what? coronation. What does that suit. mean? No joke. No, can you pull that up? Yeah. yeah. So that's that's that. But but go to Google Images. Look up look up King Charles Holy Hand Grenade of Atrioc. So the same grenade. I'm telling you, this shit looks the exact same. <laughs> so here's the thing: is like I remember my mom was in a guild in WoW called Holy Hand Grenades. That's so it's right. like it's so weird for me to think of that. But like, yeah, I did see the coronation thing, and yeah. it was like, listen, in 1776, we fought a war to not give a fuck. Who the who the king is? True, all right. So I, I look at that thing. Uh, Tell me my ass that ain't the holy hand grenade of Ashtray. <laughs> that shit looks crazy, bro. It looks so crazy. And that that shit blew my mind. Like, what are they giving him? That's 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 a bomb. Yeah. Yeah, that is a fucking oh my bomb. God. That is so. I was losing my shit over that. Wait, so you don't you don't buy into the whole royal blood thing? I don't care about that. I mean, like if if they want to do that, the thing is, like, I, there are like I can look at other people's cultures and be like, ah, it's kind of silly, right? But like at the end of the day, we do stupid stuff too. Oh yeah. 100%. So it's just like if they want to do that, that's their culture, right? That's yeah. what they do. They've been doing this for like thousands of years. Yeah. Like yeah, it's kind of funny to you know see the memes and it's like him holding two swords and like people photoshopping Elden Ring swords and <laughs> shit like that. Like it, it, it is cool, right? But like yeah. no, I, I I I would say that I don't necessarily I don't I don't disrespect it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I think it's you know it, that's what they like doing and that's good for them. I, but damn. That's the same thing. That is the exact. Yeah, very <laughs> Holy shit. Like, I thought you were just talking, like, because I don't remember what it even looked like. But yeah, yeah. that's a one for one. Yep, 100%. Oh, my God. Dude, that's one of my favorite movies of all time. When I, I was watching that shit, too, I was like, bro, what the fuck? Yeah. They just Haunting. made up a holy hand grenade <laughs> of Atriox. <Yeah. laughs> They're going to kill the killer rabbit. <laughs> God, I loved it. All right, but back to middle school. How, how was your middle school life? Oh, my middle school life was, it was pretty good. I didn't get bullied or anything. Uh, also, I was, like, in Nebraska. So. Have you ever been bullied? Uh, People would call me, like, a spaz. Is that bully? Oh, uh, not really. I don't, I don't think so. I mean, it depends on how often and, like, everything. But, like, people call me words, too. But yeah. But that's yeah. not really a big deal. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, they weren't even wrong. Yeah, exactly. I am a spaz. What can I say? Uh, but uh, I wouldn't call you a spaz. I think I was like. Well, I wasn't saying hyper. you were. I was saying they were right about me. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel like I was really hyper all the time. Like I'm always super hyper. So you've always been like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw your um oh. Kesha Kesha TikTok. Thank you. Yes, yes. I I had a fucking I had an aware midlife crisis moment. Mm -hmm. We were talking before the show, and she was talking about how she did a a, a sing along thing to Kesha TikTok, yes. like not. TikTok the website, but yep. TikTok the Kesha song from like 2009 or Great 10, song. somewhere around there, right? Mm -hmm. And she was like, you were like, yeah, I was like 11 or 12 or something like that, right? And I remember driving to college listening to that song. <laughs> oh. And I had like, I I'm sitting here, I'm like, I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> it it's, it's, it's all happened. It's all over. It's downhill. Oh my God. I, it's like, th this was... Because to me, that was like kind of recent. It's like in my mind, I was like, oh, yeah, I remember whenever that happened. Mm -hmm. But it's like for you, it was like, middle yeah, it was like school. middle school. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> and you're driving to college. Yes. Oh, I remember it so well. Yeah. My, my, I, I got TikTok in, uh, in high school when I was like junior, probably senior year. But we're all, yeah. we're not really that. You're not that much older than me. I'm 32. Yeah, I'm 29. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then are, are you public about your age? Yeah, yeah I'm 25. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's so, not really that big of a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, Does it feel like a big difference? 
Uh, is, uh, whenever she talks about that shit, it does. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that definitely does. But other than when, that, no, it doesn't. I mean, like, I've always thought people, like, a lot of my friends my age, like, I don't really get along with them. Uh, not really, I get along with them, but I don't really fit in with them because it's like they're talking about, oh, yeah, we're going to, you know, we've got, like, house insurance, and it's like, oh, kids well, are, yeah, 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 kids are this way. It's like my back is bothering me. It's like, bro, like, bro, we used to egg cars together. <laughs> Like what happened to you, man? So what happened to you? Like what do you do? What do you, what what happened, bro? Yes. I've I've never egged a car, but I would baloney cars. Do you ever do you ever do anything with baloney or like you would throw balonies on cars? Yeah, like you could put you could you could put baloney on people's cars and then it would tear off the paint. What? Yeah. That sounds evil. Yeah, it was. You would do it like on a hot day, you slap it on there and then like the paint would come off. I want to uh, roast a I want to like fry an egg on my on my car when it gets hot. And oh, you don't have to wait very long. It's yes. going to be happening very soon. Yeah. yeah no, it is, it's fucking hot. I hate it. It's, it got hot so fast. Like, it's like heat, heat. Yeah. Which I was not ready for at all. Mm -hmm. Like, it sucks balls. I hate it whenever it's hot, man. I really do. It is the worst. But wait, would you guys rather die of burning alive or hypothermia? That's not even a question. Like, burning alive is widely regarded as one of the worst ways to die. Yeah. What? Whereas Why? hypothermia and dying of freezing is considered one of the best ways to die. Yeah. Because it's like one of them is you are literally going out like a fucking flaming inferno. <laughs> okay? Yeah. It, it's, yeah, it's lit. Yeah. And, and so... <laughs> With with, a, with with being cold, it's not really a big deal. You're just like, oh, well, now my legs don't work. Well, now my knees don't work. Now my hands don't work. Now I'm dead. Oh. And it's like, okay, well, there we go. And it's pretty relaxing uh. from what I hear. I, I don't I don't want to try this out. But, uh, you know, that's what I hear. Yeah, burning alive is awful. Oh. I would assume it is. Have you ice bathed? Absolutely not. Why you ice bath? No, there was during the liftathon for OTK. Yeah. SVM went in and he was like shivering his ass off. I was yeah. like, I I hate being cold, so yeah. I, that's like my worst fear. That shit is freaky. Yeah. So yeah. If, if for me, it felt like my heart was stopping. Really? Yeah. I went in. I it was on Twitch too. When it felt like my heart was stopping, I started convulsing. What? I was like, bro, I hate this. Was it in your own bathtub? Yeah, it was. Wow. And then I left, and then I could feel like my own blood. What felt like it like dethawing huh? after I got out, and then it was like. It was like slowly, slowly, then like burning hot liquid. That's cool though. That was cool, but it was also I'm never doing that shit again. Fuck yeah. that. I'm good. I got that no. Yep. Nope. There's a reason I never seen anybody. There never been a caveman that went and did that. I tell you that. <laughs> uh, uh, no, we not made to do that. Uh, do you think you would survive if you were a caveman? Uh, I mean, I kind of already am. Hmm. Uh, but would I survive if I was a caveman? I don't know. It's hard to say. I think I would die immediately. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I can't probably would die, but I'd like to think that I'd survive for at least a few days. Okay. That's good. Yeah. That's hopeful. I mean, I got to imagine that the old cavemen were probably ruled by like the smart cavemen. Uh huh. You know? No, I think it was probably the one with the bigger stick. Or the you one think so? You don't always. think there was any sense of like mental manipulation? Well, yeah, of course, there's a little bit of that. But then, yeah. like, you know, somebody guy, some guy gets manipulated. He's like, hey, wait a minute. Bonk. <laughs> and, and that's it. You know? <laughs> the captain. He's like, I'm the chief now. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. That's, I, I don't know. Maybe it probably was some of it, but not not a whole lot. I have no idea. Do you ever think it's, like, so cool that we're living in 2020? I am so glad because it's like, think about we are the first generation to have. Yes. Anime, oh, air yep. conditioning, yes, and cars. Thank gosh, isn't We're that so crazy? Blessed. And the internet too. Like we, it, it's we live in unironically the best time ever. But what if you think? Do you think it's better in two hundred years? Will it be better in two hundred years? Yeah. I don't know. Like the thing is, to me, it depends on how AI is generated. Oh. Like I was talking to my dad about this because he was watching, like, because I was showing like these pictures of these like AI generated girls, and he Does like, he like them? he's like. Man, they really got to get these 3D printers up to date. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> like, please. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And so, yeah, you've got, I think that's going to become like a massive thing. Like you already have people that are like dating AIs and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I mean, Tectone's in the Genshin community, so people were doing that even before AI. So I'm in the Hawkeye yeah. community now, okay? Genshin and <laughs> uh -huh. I, we've, we've gone our separate ways. <laughs> it's actually crazy because I was expecting the Honkai and Genshin community to be, to be like the same. They're so different. Which oh. which character do you think farms the most simps in the Honkai? Ooh la la. Oh, Kafka. 
Definitely. Yeah, I because she. Because I think Kafka is like anybody who is like enough of a simp to have like Makima as their profile yep. picture uh, changed it to Kafka. Yep, hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, have you have you read like her her light cone? No. Yeah, her light cone says that like Kafka like takes you into her, your her room, closes the door. <gasps> you hear like faint yelping, and then the oh. like multiple climaxes ensue. I'm not uh. even kidding you. I'm, she's pretty good. Like, like, yeah, sounds like, like read fun. Her light cone. It's great. crazy. And then she yeah. has like a move uh, when you meet her called like dominate. Oh. Have you have you have you seen that yet or no? I mean, uh, yes, yes, I have. Did you, did you do that fight? Yeah, I did the first one. Oh shit, damn, you're far. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm hopefully going to finish the game today. Uh, whenever I get home, nice. let's see. So then you probably have, you probably have World Six. For simulated universe, you have World Five and Six, but yeah, yeah, and then you're you should be you're probably near level forty. Uh, I'll hit forty today if I play a lot. Mm. Then then you'll have World Six, World Three, Difficulty Two, World Four, Difficulty Two. Is forty the last benchmark? No, no, okay, There's a ton. yeah, like uh, 40, 50, 60. What do you get at fifty? Uh, more simulated universes, leveling up your characters again. Oh, okay, okay yeah, so yeah. You have to keep farming. You have to keep whaling. Yeah. Did you use like any of the stamina things to like increase your stamina? I've used uh, eleven. Okay. Because oh. I pulled my Zila and I just yeah fucking dunked him because I wanted that right. my Zila was so shit and I was so scared so I just dumped everything into her and now she's Smart. insane. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, that's what I've done too. Yeah, yeah, I've I've spent so much on just making sure that happens. Yeah, Emily, you should try it out. I, think I mean, so. it's a it, it's a fun game. The only the content that the viewers love seeing is Gamba. Oh. That's oh, it's yeah. all Gamba. The story yeah. is like, oh yeah, Kafka's really hot, and it's like, oh, there's <laughs> yes, all the, he is. There's the Fox girl too, and she's great, and that's about it, though, right? Yeah. Is I mean, yeah. the story is nice. It's a good story, and I think honestly, like you're right. Like some of the side quests kind of have better stories than the yep. main one, mm. or at least like they're more succinct. But yeah, I I think that you know it's mainly the Gamba. I think it's it sounds fun. I'm we're all get addicted. Yeah. And then I'll be like Tectone. When was the last game you got addicted to? <laughs> you don't want that. What was the last game you ever got addicted to? Uh, that's a good question. Oh, like what? I've seen you play Dark Souls and that's it. Um, off stream, I love Stardew Valley, but I never got no like, way. too into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I named one of my cats after a Stardew Valley character. Oh, that's so cool. You know Krobus? Yes, yes. Yeah, the little guy in the sewer. Yeah, yeah I named my little uh, tuxedo cat Krobus. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I love that game so much. Who's your favorite character? Who's your favorite like female and male character? Um, well, I'm pining for Alex. He's like the jock. Yeah, so yeah. I'm trying to marry him. Yeah. And then my favorite girl, I like uh, Emily because her name's Emily. Yay! Yeah. I like Sebastian and uh, Abigail. Oh, Sebastian's emo. The, yeah, the emo kids. Yeah. Do you isn't, play Stardew? Isn't Stardew Valley like just Animal Crossing with worse graphics? Oh, uh, but. but um, it's actually yeah. a lot better than Animal Crossing. Oh, it is. No. I could not play Animal Crossing for more than like 10 hours during COVID. Really? Yeah. What? I didn't get into it. I, I would like cry if I left my village for longer than like 12 hours. I think it's because my villages were ugly. So then I didn't like them. So you had to get the amiibo cards. You didn't get the amiibo cards? I did not. If you had the amiibo cards, you get exactly who you want in your village. But isn't it part of the fun to like see which villager you get and then you cry when, when it is? Happens? But yo, Jay, can you pull up an image of uh, Drago from Animal Crossing: New Horizons? He's the coolest. I thought you were gonna say Anka. <laughs> like, oh, I had Anka too. Really? Not okay. that I was weird. Yeah. Yeah. I was. Just, I just. I thought Anka was cool. Yeah, she's cool. Yeah. I haven't played an Animal Crossing. What the hell? Look at him. Ew, like what, the, what the fuck what? do you mean? Ew. What do you want him for? Yeah. He's so cute. No, I don't like him. What? I don't like the purple lips, man. <laughs> he's, a, he's a dragon. It's a bit much. His head looks very large. Okay, who the yeah. fuck did you like from Animal Crossing? I got um, an elephant. and it Was he, was he the like, superhero elephant? No, just a little elf. What was his name? I, didn't, I don't even know. That's elephant. Like, was it that guy? No. See, I don't even, I'm such a bad person. I don't even know their name. Yeah, that's crazy how I remember Drago and you don't remember your stupid ass elephant. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were cute, but. No, I think that elephant's fucking ugly. No, so much true they are, <laughs> Drago. Okay, dude. I didn't even know they had other characters. I thought it was just Tom Nook, and that was about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I only played the first one on GameCube. I never did a single one after that. Oh, so you are, you like Nintendo too? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, like, no, I started, like, Nintendo was the only, they're, they're the only people that I have had every single console. Yep. Like, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, GameCube, Wii, Wii U, the Switch. I have every single one. That's actually the exact same for me. 
I did yeah. not have the Super Nintendo because I wasn't. I wasn't. That's why I don't have Nintendo. It's like I'm a little bit forward to that too. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. You guys are big gamers. See, I only had the Wii. That, oh, I had the GameCube too. Really? Okay. And the DS. So, so what did what did you grow up? Did did you just play video games all day, or what did you do growing up? So I did half making music videos on YouTube. Okay. And then I also just played uh like. Mario Galaxy all the time. That's a good ass game. Yeah, I loved it. And then I would play Wii Fit. And then go to school. And that's it. And study a lot. I was a big nerd. So that's all I did. Wii Fit? Yeah, yes. You weren't like yelling at people on Xbox Live and like playing Halo 2 or anything oh like that? Oh my God, I wish. That's, that's where I grew up. Yeah, I was screaming at people. Really? Yeah, like there are holes in my wall and you can fit an Xbox controller in the hole. <laughs> like, that's fun. Yeah. Have you ever like smashed a keyboard? I used to take one side of it and I would beat my head against the keyboard <laughs> Your head. until I knocked enough keys out of it that I couldn't use it anymore. And then I would have to crawl around underneath the desk uh -huh. and I would have to find and pick up every single individual key and put them back where they're supposed to go. And while you're doing it, you're like, well, I'm like, oh. I'm, I'm calming down. Right. Oh. It, it's like a calm. It's actually, it was a really good system that I had. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Speaking of keyboards. Yeah. I posted a video of my keyboard Iconic. on Twitter. With the ants, right? Yeah. So you somehow, had ants inside of your keyboard. Yeah, somehow it got over 1.5 million views in a day. That's so funny. Oh my god. Which uh, I was not expecting. I was looking at all the <laughs> dust the care. and I was like, oh, that's a lot of dust. And then I saw the ants crawling and I was like, what the heck, Techie? Yeah, it was, a. Uh, I. I'll be real, I've completely lost myself these past two weeks. I've done nothing but just grind games. Yeah. My 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 room is disgusting. It's like covered in like sweet potatoes, like sweet little potatoes. What the fuck? Oh yeah, I'm on this new diet Not plan. Not even a potato? You have to pick the sweet potato? The sweet potatoes are better. No. That shit good. I think they're better for you too. Wake Wake recommended me get sweet potato. Uh -huh. Oh my god, you have the video, bro. There's the ant. Yep, they're so happy. <laughs> little home. Yeah. They have my cat hair and my dandruff and all of my... Dandruff? Yeah, and all of my... You still get dandruff if you're bald. Like, oh. And then all of my snot, my goo, it's all on the fucking keyboard. How do you... What What are you blowing your nose on the keyboard for? So here's the thing. When I sneeze, I don't cover my nose. Okay. I just let it rip. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right, cool. <laughs> I, so like there do the ants ever come out and like crawl on your hands yep. and stuff? Yep. Yeah, I have like bites on my arms. Really? Yeah. But uh I, I got I yeah, I got I got to send a new keyboard, so I'm I'm keeping this as a monument in my backyard so that way the ants yeah. can be happy and undisturbed. Wait, have you found cockroaches in your rooms yet? <laughs> 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 I want a cockroach in my room. Oh, you have no idea. How many? You get a lot of roaches. So I used to have a pair of scissors specifically for dealing with roaches. Uh, to stab? Oh, my God. Snip. You snip them in half? Snip, roach snipping. Oh and, uh, yeah. yep, I used to do that a lot. And uh, now, like, there aren't really that many of them anymore. I don't really know why. Uh -huh. But, like, back in the day, I remember one time there was a roach crawling up my leg. And oh. I was... I, I was about to shoot somebody in Halo 2, uh -huh. and I had my friend next to me, a couple of people next to me, I'm like, bro, there's a roach on my leg. They're like, ugh. <laughs> I'm like, nah, don't worry about it. I'm going to get it after I get this. I fucking headshot this Ooh. dude, <laughs> and then I knocked that off my leg. I'm like, get, I, get out of my life. Whoa, unfazed. So roaches yeah. are one of my biggest fears in my entire life. Really? I'm only afraid of things that can bite me. Yeah. Uh, I, I woke up before because I, I can't breathe well in my, my nose, so I breathe out of my mouth. And I woke up with roaches in my mouth, <gasps> right? And that fucked me up. Yeah. So I'm a guy where I overcome my fears by getting really, really, really mad. Okay. Right? So when I see a roach, it invokes rage in me. Yeah. And so when I go to kill them, I don't do it, like, small. I'm not like, oh, squish. Like, I have to obliterate them, yeah. right? So, like, I'll take, like, a whole ass, like, like what are those things with a bunch of words in it that fuck it's not, is it a dictionary? Yeah, it's like a dictionary. Yeah. It like tells you what the words means. Yes, yes. The it's a source or dictionary. Yeah. Yeah, and all like <laughs> full oh, strength oh, until it, they yeah. explode. Like right. like explode. Juicy. Like wow. they they make me so fucking mad. Yeah. And then the worst thing is, I had a house in Canada, mm -hmm. where like, oh my god. Just thinking about it, pissed me off. I went to go take a drink, uh -huh. and I'm like, "Well, these are like the, the the warmest ice cubes I've ever had." Okay. And then I look in my drink, and there's like, and you can have, you can have, I've I've shown photos of this. There's like 30 cockroaches yeah, in my drink, what the heck? but they're small, right? Yeah. And I'm like, "Where the fuck are all these coming from?" Yeah. Okay. I start tricking them. Like they're, they're all over my house. They're everywhere. Like it feels like I like I have bugs in my skin, yeah. and then 
I, I, we don't know where they're coming from. So we just check. We pull the refrigerator out. Mm-hmm. You cannot see the back of the fridge. Oh my God. It is just roaches. Whoa. Like thousands of them. Ew. Okay. So Freem gets a, a, a shop vac uh-huh. and she vacuums them off like she's fucking Luigi in, uh-huh. in Luigi's mansion. <laughs> And we just have like this, 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 it was almost like a blender of just like thousands of roaches. And I hate it. I, I moved. Uh-huh. I moved like. I would too. I was like, that sounds fuck, horrible. Fuck bugs, bro. Yeah. God, even thinking about it makes me itchy, bro. Ooh. I fucking hate bugs so much. Ooh. I have to, I, I'll, I'll, like, I'll, like, I'll, like, axe spray, flamethrower. Yeah. Like, I, I think, like, sometimes I'll leave like dead corpses out. So that way the bugs see them. I I actually think that they'll be like, oh fuck, I shouldn't be here. Yeah. Like if there's like Give if there's like if there's like eighteen scorched carcasses, I don't think you would enter a house. <laughs> yeah. Beware, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Beware. <laughs> fuck, dude, I hate bugs. Aww. So uh, there was one time it was like five in the morning, something like that, and I just finished a long day of playing World of Warcraft, and I was tired, and I figured I'd sit down, and I would watch a little bit of King of the Hill. And I lean back against my pillow, and I feel a ro or a, not a roach, a little ant crawling oh, onto my arm. I'm like, "Fucking ant, get out of here! I don't want to deal with you." And uh, then I feel another ant crawling over on this side, and it's like another ant. Yeah, God damn, it's so annoying. And then I feel <laughs> one on my neck, and it's like, "Oh my God, where are these fuckers coming from?" I pick up the pillow. I turn the bitch around and the entire thing is like swarming with ants. And I look up and I see on my ceiling beam, there's a bunch of ants going around. And I turn on all the lights and there's just ants everywhere. That's crazy. They're fucking everywhere. And so I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do? I did exactly what Freem did. Yeah. I went downstairs and this was like 10 years ago. I told my mom I need to use the vacuum cleaner. She's like, for what? <laughs> and I'm like, I gotta, I've gotta clean up my room. And she's like, okay. <laughs> and so I go up there and like a madman for 50 minutes, I am vacuuming up <laughs> ants in my room at like six in the morning at that time. Like the sun is coming up. I've been awake all fucking night <laughs> vacuuming these things up. And then we went into I went into the garage and I found a, a like prefab cement. And I put cement up across the beams so the ants couldn't come through. This was in 2011. I've never seen another ant. <laughs> they told all. I got rid of them. Yep. Sick. Yeah, that was it. I never dealt with another ant ever again. And now, a word from our sponsors. Well, if one episode isn't enough, we got even more now. We started the Steak and Eggs official Patreon. Patreon.com slash Steak and Eggs. We're going to have tons of stuff on there, as well as behind-the-scenes footage, bonus content, as well as questions that we are going to answer from you guys directly. So if you guys want to be a part of that and see what there is to offer, take a look at it at patreon.com slash steak and eggs. Speaking of ant infestations, uh, I've seen that you were doing a new uh, series on your streams. Me? Where you go to the best restaurant and the worst restaurant. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I did a burrito place. How disgusting! So the one play burrito place is called like Taco Cabana. Apparently, it's like a like a. Oh, I love Taco Cabana. What? You Wait, that place it? is yeah, it's so to, good. About to talk some shit. Well, you don't like Taco Cabana? Yeah, that was my one place play. My one. So that was what? One, okay. Taco Cabana was not Cabana was not good, Techie. Well, what? compared to what? Compared to anything else, it was horrible. And it's not compared to Taco Bell, I'll tell you that. Yeah, Taco Bell. Taco Bell, like Taco Cabana, is a massive step up over Taco Bell. Step up? Yeah. What? No, Taco Bell's great. Taco Bell is nice. I like go. I go Taco Bell all the time. You like Taco uh, Cabana too? Yeah, they're yeah. both great. What? Oh, wh- yeah. Well, I'm the like- thing is, see, you don't understand. Uh huh. But. Taco Cabana used to be open 24-7. Okay. And then after COVID, they used that as an excuse to just always be closed. And so <laughs> yep, true. back in the day, you could at 5 in the morning. Actually, they open at 5 in the morning now. Trust me, I know. Um, at 3 in the morning, you could go to Taco Cabana and get yourself a steak quesadilla. And it was delicious. And a bean and cheese taco combo. Yep. It was amazing. And then somewhere along the line, they thought that, like, you know what? We're just going to close at, like, 8 p.m. or yeah. something <laughs> stupid like that. Fuck that. And you used to – I remember the first time that I met Mitch Jones. Me, Mitch, and my other friend Zach sat at a Taco Cabana hanging out 
at five in the morning wow. in the lobby, just chilling, talking about wow. Oh. <laughs> yep, in 2017. Whoa. Those were the days. That's vibes. But have you had their fajitas? Awful. They're so good. You, they're they're really good. Well, here's the Yo, thing. I'm they're obviously look, look 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 look. They're not that good, but that <laughs> it, it's it's good enough. No. It's like at a certain point you you're gonna get the food. It, so if you want to go to some nice fancy burrito place, some Mexican restaurant, it's not gonna be Taco Cabana. But if I want to get some food and I don't have time to deal with any kind of bullshit, I go to Taco Cabana. Do because we, and they also have forty four ounce drinks. Oh, the big ass yeah, drink. yeah, they got the big <laughs> drinks. Wait, okay, maybe we took a different one. One because I ordered a steak fajita, it comes out is just a tortilla with steak. Where's the lettuce? Where's the sour cream? It was. See, that's just, why I like it. Is that, that like you? You have to ask for pico with it and uh, pico de gallo. But even the pico was bad. Oh yeah, I don't know because like I, I just assume that's what pico de gallo. I, I have no idea. I think you just got like orange. Okay. Well, yeah, was, I think I think you picked a bad spawn. Maybe, yeah, because it, like, yeah. it's literally that. There it, it is. That's that's it's what you asked for. Oh man. And the tortilla. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Right there. That's what you asked for. Huh? Is this what you guys like? It's yeah. good. Oh what? Dude, I I go there. I get a bean burrito with steak. It's fucking amazing. That's your first mistake is getting beans. Yeah, that's some, I'm out. Go no beans are incredible. Today. You know, my first date ever was a Taco Cabana. R- what the? It, it was my heck? first date. I was Dairy Queen. Really? Yeah. First oh, date? Yeah, I went. I went there with a chick, and uh, she was incredibly nervous mm-hmm. to 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 be with me. Oh, that was pretty cool back then. Yeah, <sighs> you know, oozing you know. with swag. Yeah, it, it was disgusting actually because um, when I would touch her hand, it was like flooding. Oh god, yeah, it was gross. Okay, and uh, she forgot her utensils, and I offered to get her it, and she was like, "No, I'm okay. I don't need anything." Because she was, I, I knew she was too nervous to ask, yes. and I could have just done it. But I just didn't. <laughs> so yeah. I got my shit. I was enjoy- I was eating my burrito bowl. It was delicious. And so her, the only logical conclusion was for her to eat this scorching hot burrito bowl with her hands. No. Oh, a bowl. A bowl. A burrito uh, bowl with uh, her fucking that's hands. Crazy. And her hands were just coated in beans. And then she would make eye contact oh. while she would suck the refried beans off of her fingers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, Did it make you feel something? No. Did you have a second date? Yeah, I dated her for like three years. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It is what it is. I mean, she she liked anime. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's pretty much that's pretty much my like. Do you like anime? Do you like video games? Okay. Do you want to like date? Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. They don't give a fuck about anything else. She was nice though. She was cool. You was that Dairy Queen? Yeah, it was. And uh, it was like middle school or high school? High school. Okay. And yeah. uh, it was uh, very like I mean, I, it, it's it was a weird time. Okay, let me just tell you that it was a very weird time. I remember I got a Nintendo DS to play uh, games with her whenever we were in school. Which one? And uh, it was the oh, Nintendo. It was Nintendogs, Fuck. and it was also, like, there was some Mario game. I don't remember even what it was. I'd have to go back and really think about it. I think Mario it might have actually just been the the DS, like, built-in games that you yeah. were, like, that were given to you to play with other people. Mm. And I remember I would, I would play with her every day in, like, our, like, movie-making class. Mm. And we used to be literally the worst students. And <laughs> the, the, the year after that, the teacher actually quit. Oh! <gasps> He straight up quit. He said, fuck that. You made him quit. Yep. Oh. Well, like his friend, uh, his friend also worked there. And I, I had to, I was in his friend's class the next year. This was like senior year. And uh, I, I go and I remember we were causing such a ruckus, mm-hmm. such a problem. And we were just going ape shit, causing issues. And then uh, he's like, guys, I'll be right back. You know, just chill out for a bit. You know, just chill out. And he comes back. And he smells differently. Uh, uh. And he's like, guys, you know what? Let's just try to relax. <laughs> let's just, let, let's just, all right, you know what? Maybe I was being a little bit too harsh, but like, can we dial down? Can you not throw the potato chips at each other? Cause like, you know, it's like ants and shit. Right. And I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, no problem. He's like, all right, cool. Well, I'm going to go sit in there and, uh, all right, great guys. <gasps> <laughs> just fucking got high. Did not give a fuck. <laughs> that's oh, so that's cool. Funny. Yeah. Oh, that was great. When he said that, I thought he like had sex with someone. No. Oh, oh what really? That's oh, crazy. And then it was like the girl's perfume. 
absolutely not. But now I understand that it was because he yeah, died. He just straight up, like, Good. in the middle of fucking class, just went out to the car, oh. fucking spoke to joint, yes. like, hit a ball. I don't know what he did. He yeah. came back. He was like, boys, everything is A-OK. <laughs> yeah. And I remember <laughs> we would uh, we would stream, we would play, uh, like, because we were in the broadcasting class, so we had access to, like, the school network. Yeah. And we would unironically stream ourselves playing Super Smash Brothers Melee in oh. 2007. That's yep. wow. That's like, yeah. Yes. And, and like, so people kept turning on the TV to watch us play the game because it was way more interesting than like, you know, whatever the teacher was doing. And he finally is like, guys, you guys in there all day playing video games, broadcasting it to everybody. And we're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and he's like, I knew it. I see y'all doing it all the time. I'm like, well, you know, they're complaining a lot about it. They're so, you know, teachers are mad because the kids are like, well, why can't we play video games? Why do they get to play video games? So, you know what you guys are going to have to do? And I'm like, what? He's like, you're going to have to not stream it. You can keep no. playing the game, but you can't stream it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I don't, yeah, you guys keep playing. I don't care. So I'm curious. Do you remember your first date? Oh, yes. My first one was. Was it good? No. It was oh, eighth no. grade. Yeah. And um, it was at Cold Stone Creamery. Awesome. I love that. How do you have a bad date at Cold Stone? Yeah, okay, so the problem was it was eighth grade and I was really nervous, right? So I didn't even talk to him. And, like, I we did it. Okay, we got a, we watched a movie first, a romantic movie. Do you remember which one? It was uh, maybe, like, The Proposal or something like that. Like, yeah. some very bad movie. Mm -hmm. And then he probably wanted to, like, hold hands. But I was a little prude, and I just kept to myself, right? So I was just sitting there, and I was, like, too scared to do anything. I was, like, don't yeah. touch me, don't touch me. Cause so, so why why is that? Like, why would you go on a date and not talk? Because I've had that experience while going on a date. They're, they're too nervous to talk. And they'll say, I'm sorry I was so nervous. Like, what? why would you not talk? Well, if you're watching a movie, you don't want to interrupt it for other people. Oh, I hate whenever people talk to me during a movie. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah, I hate it. Because, like, cause I, 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 like, I can hear one thing at a time. Like, I can't listen to two things at a time. Yeah. So, like, if somebody talks to me, it's like I'm hearing the static electricity whenever you change the channel. And it's like not, you don't have the cable on, right? And it's like, <laughs> you know, like, so I can't hear two two different, like, trains oh, of thought at the same time. That's why movies the worst first place, like, first date place to go to. I'm a, I'm a big movie talker. You are? I'm a big yeah. movie talker. Do you go on your phone, too? Oh, fuck no. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, I might be like, okay, am I okay? We're good. Okay, videos yeah. up? Cool. Yeah. That's it. But, like, I, when I see something awesome, I'm like, bro, did you fucking, bro, that was crazy, dude. That was fucking nuts. Like, during the movie? Oh, yeah, of course, 100%. Do you clap at the end? No. Oh, wait, I do. <laughs> oh, that's fine. I clapped at the end of the Mario movie. It was so good. I was like, wow, I loved it. That movie fucking sucked. No. I, I would go and I would clap at the end of a movie if everybody else was. Just like, okay, yeah, oh, yeah. sure, I'll play along. You know, why yeah. not? It's whatever. Yeah. But no, I'm not going to do that on my own. Clap. Yeah. No, Wait, I'm not going to. So then what happened at Cold Stone? Okay, yeah. So uh, I, like, didn't really talk to him. I didn't really, like, hold hands or like, do anything. And the day after, he told everyone else but me that we broke up. And I was like. No. So I heard from someone. And then my friend's like, oh, Emily, did you break up with him? With Matthew? And I'm, oh, well, yeah, his name's Matthew. And then I was like, oh, we broke up? I had no idea. And then I had to, like, confront him. And I was like, do you want to break up? And he said, I don't care. And I said, it's yes or no question. And he said, I don't care. And then I walked away. And it was horrifying. Oh, my God. But oh, my I God. I so vividly. Like, that's my first boyfriend in eighth grade. You know what my first breakup was? What? Because my girlfriend's mom tried to get me to launder illegal drug money. What? So why'd you break up with her, though? <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. like... <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I'm going to stay in my house by World of Warcraft. I ain't getting involved with this shit at all. Yeah. That shit, it just got crazy. Yeah. And I was like, all right, okay, next. That's like too many layers there. Yeah, that shit was wild. Oh. But what about, did you ever have a good date? When was your first good date? I don't know. All my dates are like, I just like the word date is kind of weird. Wait, I date... Okay, then in high school, I did another date, and he also tried to kiss me. That was my first kiss. He stole my first kiss at a movie he theater. stole it? Yes. It's because we watched another romantic movie, and then I didn't touch him at all during the movie. I was just sitting there. And he wanted to kiss me the whole time, but I was like, merp, like, to myself. Yeah. yeah. At the end of the movie, he, like, walks, like, the movie ends. We walk out of the movie theater. He turns to me, kisses me, and then he goes, yay, I did it. And I'm like, oh. And it was my like first an achievement kiss. unlock? Yes, because oh he was God. so nervous. He wanted to he wanted to get the first kiss out of the way. And he said, Yay! And I'm like, What? That was my first kiss. 
Bro, that's the that's the that's, craziest shit I've ever heard. Oh my right fucking now. god. That's pain. He he was like he went like during the movie, he'd like try to lean in and I'd be like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you doing? Yeah. So, I don't know. My, just... my first kiss ever, I remember it so clearly. I was racing her. Uh, I think I was in, like, maybe ninth or tenth. I was. It was the same Taco Cabana girl. <laughs> uh, we were playing Mario Kart, <gasps> and I didn't want to kiss at all, <laughs> right? And her dad was being very kind. He said he was going to make a shrimp scampi. And I'm like, okay, great. And so we're playing Mario Kart. She just throws the controller to the side, okay. just gets on top of me. Oh, my God. And then just starts going crazy. What? And then her dad walks in the room like 15 <gasps> seconds later. He drops the shrimp scampi. Not the shrimp scampi. He drops it because he's so in shock. He yes. grabs me by my shirt, <gasps> drags me out of the room. And he's like, what the fuck did you do to my daughter? Really? And I said, Sir, I promise you. <laughs> I, I promise you. I was doing nothing. And then he sat there and we he, he was like, okay, well, we're gonna have to have a serious talk. And he puts on a movie, and I am so horrified. I don't even remember what movie. Okay, I was curious. I was I was so scared. I'm like, oh my god. Like Schindler's list or something. <laughs> yeah, I, I was so scared. And he just sat there and he talked to me about everything. Wow. About like how if I do anything to his daughter so and so and i'm like yes sir yes sir no Birds sir i would never do that sir no no sir i would never sir and then oh my god she came out she's like what did what did he do uh-huh. and i'm like you yeah, maybe we chill out a little bit yeah. <laughs> maybe we just chill out a little bit uh but that was horrifying yeah oh and you know what the worst thing was the f- the moment she kissed me our teeth <gasps> oh oh, oh yeah. that shit Hearts. Oh, and then it, you, did you like? Did you like say like, "Oh, do you see that?" Like, or did you just kind of ignore it? No, I was like, "Yo, chill." I, was, oh, really? I, I probably didn't say it that cool. Yeah, because I, I will admit, I was a pretty cool kid you when I was in high school. Out? But I was probably just like, um, <laughs> that, 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 we, I don't think this is how we're supposed to do it. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember yours or no? Not really. I, I mean, it was like there was a girl. I think I kissed in like fifth grade, Ooh, yeah. and yeah. then there was fifth after. Grade? Well, after that, it was like a weird thing, and yeah. uh, nothing ever happened before or after that. It was just a weird thing that happened, like even while we were like going from one class to another. Yeah. And oh, then okay. the other time was at like a New Year's party at, at midnight, right? Oh, yeah. There's some some cringe shit like that. Yeah. yeah. It's so. Like- Bring in the new year. Yay! Yeah. Something like that. Uh, it was it was weird. <laughs> but I, I usually, like, whenever I was younger, I didn't really get along with a lot of girls. I don't know if anybody could have expected that. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it was slim pickings as well. So I didn't really have a lot of dates or do any of that kind of stuff. I And the thing is, it's like these girls think they're too good for me. Well, guess what? I'm a level 60 warrior. Holy so, <laughs> yeah, what the fuck do they know? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Fuck them, bro. Yeah. Dude, they'd be struggling in Westfall where your ass is on top of the world, rank one gladiator. Uh-huh. Mm. So what was the weirdest IRL experience you ever had? Uh, well, they're not too out of the ordinary, thankfully. Yep. Yeah. Um, that is what that is what's shocking to me. Right? Because you stream IRL so much. Yeah. And they're, they're, I've had some pretty weird IRL experiences. Really? Right? But, like, I, yours just seem to go good. Yeah, like, I don't really get, like... I don't have any mean snipers or anything. Like, they're always really nice. Oh, I did have one guy who would, like, pin my location and stuff. He was another streamer. What? Yeah. He would do, he would, like, be like, she's here? Yeah, like, and- his, like uh, his chat would be like, she's here. Like, it was when I was in New York. Yeah. Um, It was uh, Burger Andy. Do you know him? Burger Andy? No, I got no idea. Oh, uh, God. Yeah, so I- He's still around? Yeah, he he's uh back at it. He, well, apparently he's in India now, but he was uh, in New York when I was in New York. Yeah. And then I thought he was Pay Money Wubby because he looks very similar to Pay Money uh-huh. Wubby. So I, and then he like comes up to me, and then I like I'm talking to him, and then my chat is like, oh, like you should probably like leave. And I'm yeah, like, okay. you should not talk to this thing. <laughs> so then I left, and then he was like trying to find me. So he sniped me three times that stream. So that was like the only like. It's like scary, like not scary, but like sus thing. Unsettling. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Now that's creepy as fuck. But uh, otherwise, like, it's really not like everyone's pretty nice. And th- when I when I say, can I spank your butt? I've only been uh, rejected once <laughs> out of like 20. <laughs> you out of 20 spank. times? Yeah, oh, my God. Only once. I choose the best. It's because the guy was like also in a rush. So I'm sure if he had time, he would let me uh, spank him. So why do you do that? 
I don't know. I just really like butts. <laughs> that's the guy? Uh, yeah, that's there he is. Doesn't he look like Pay Money Wubby kind of? What the fuck? Like, you can see it, right? He has a beard. See, when he has a beard. Look, there's look at the clip. Extra Emily meets Burger Andy. Oh, that's. Look at that. That looks just like. Pay oh, Money that Wubby. actually does look just like Pay Money Wubby. Exactly. So. Yeah, no, I, I have I have no idea who this guy is. But yeah, he's um, he he ain't a worm. Just cool. Hey, that's sick. Yeah. Well, what's your favorite like IRL moment that you have? Oh, like what what would you say if if you were to pick one where it was like this was the best moment oh. that I've ever had? Like maybe, like even if maybe maybe you would say any IRL moment like defined who you are like oh. or like if you wanted if you wanted the people to see one clip of like your best moment, what oh, clip my, would you want them to see? My IRL moments. Yeah, these are some really good ones. Like like okay. My favorite moment of yours uh-huh. has to be where that guy just asked to take a photo. Who's me? Yeah, who, who's yeah, you? That, that is one of my top favorite clips. <laughs> it's so <laughs> funny. Because, like, you get, like, humbled, like, <laughs> so quick. It was so <laughs> funny. I oh, love it. not with me. There's the building. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was pretty great. Like, that was one of my go-to clips. Uh, oh, my favorite clip, meeting, meeting a Fader Than a Ho guy. That's right. You met him. Fulcrum. I met Fulcrum. Fulcrum. Yes. 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 And he was so nice. It was like really funny because that whole stream I was trying to like find like where he was so I could take a like a video with him. But so you stream side him. I did stream side so, him. So you burger andied his ass. I did. I did. Oh and my god. It all comes back to in a cycle. <laughs> yeah, Crazy. Holy fuck. But he was so nice. And then uh, that's like an iconic clip. But yeah, I just like a I just like doing anything IRL. It's just so fun talking to strangers and why, stuff. Why do you think that is? I don't know. It's like you get to see all these different people out in the world. They're like doing their normal day lives. And I'm just like, la, 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 like bothering them. Yeah. But they're always like really nice. And I'm like, this is so cool. There's so many people out in this world. So. Did you get out a lot when you were a kid? Like have you always enjoyed being outside, like outdoors? No. Like no? growing up, I loved like being inside, like sleeping, playing video games. Yeah. Like only hanging out with my well, friends. When did things go wrong? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh I think it's uh maybe last month so uh-huh. no but really? I w- like uh my whole life I've always only had like four close friends okay like and that'd be just my friend group that's I, that's probably same for me re- yeah yeah I wouldn't really socialize with a lot of people just like the core friend group that I had I think in college I guess I had to be like more social because I was like in a sorority <laughs> what a sorority yeah I was sorority president my senior year of college. So did you have to do, did the, like the, so I've always heard like at UT and Texas yes. state, there was all kinds of like crazy shit that you would have to do. And, and it was like some weird, weird stuff. Like we mm. talked to Dr. K about that last week <laughs> yeah. but like and, and like other stuff. So like, did, did they have like any hazing or anything like that? So no physical hazing for me. Oh. All I, I know, I know they, apparently they used to like, uh, it wasn't, I don't think it was my sorority, but a different Asian sorority. They would have girls like. Was an well, what, what do you mean Asian sorority? So the sorority that I joined was uh, like Asian interest. So it was either Asian people or like people that are Asian interest or like. What does that mean? Like they're like, doing Asian studies kind of stuff. Like yeah, that? exactly. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So stuff like that, or like if they're adopted or so, like yeah, yeah, like that. yeah. Okay. So uh, a different Asian sorority, apparently a long time ago, they would have girls sit on a laundry machine and then they would circle any part that jiggled as they're hazing. Like we didn't do that, thank God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we they didn't would do that. circle it. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, there's the jiggle. Okay. Isn't that crazy? To like fat shape them? Yes, yes. <laughs> That's crazy. Yes, I know. Some sororities are crazy. But for me, all I did was memorize stuff. <laughs> like, what did you have to memorize? I memorized every single person that joined prior to me. I memorized like every school that my sorority was in. Like, like yeah, uh-huh. all, the, all the colleges. And then memorized like facts about the other girls and stuff like that. It wasn't bad at all. It was just, okay. and I love memorizing things. So I had a great time. You know, yeah, like Dr. K said, there was one where they would uh, dudes would tie another dude to a tree and take a piss on him. Whoa! Yeah, yeah. so like the way that y'all do it, it's probably not really that bad. Yeah. yeah, or the soggy biscuit. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Which I, I really hope you don't know what that means. You don't know what that yeah. means. Oh, oh, it's where you come on oh the biscuit, my. and then the last person who comes eats it, right? 
That's right. Uh, Whoa. Did, did you learn that from me or did yeah. you learn it somewhere else? I think somewhere else. Okay, thank God. I mean, it's All kind right. of like a well known thing. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. good, good, yeah, good, good. Yeah. No, the internet, the internet, there was a couple of people who were not happy that I told Dr. K about that. I, what? It's pretty fucking funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> was the first time you heard about it? Uh huh. It yeah. was. And then you're like, oh, this is what it is. So you are someone who, like, like when I, when I learned who you were, like, like, like surprised me. I was like, uh huh. Oh fuck, she's like actually like this. Like that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. so I'm wondering, like, has there been anybody in OTK where like uh, when you learned like how they were like that like surprised you at all? Like was there anybody who you thought would be like this, but they're another way? Oh, interesting. Yeah. Or a streamer in general. Uh I I actually got I like get along really well with Nick, like that I didn't expect. Yeah. So Nick is like very chill. Yeah. On camera, and then off camera, he's even more chill, very lazy, <laughs> <laughs> does nothing, no. But yeah, he's, he's nice. Like, I'm, like, surprised because he seems, like, very, like, you know, kind of hip, sort of. So I was surprised at, like, how easy I could talk to him yeah. about stuff. And he helps me a lot with IRL stuff because he has his backpack and whatnot. He's, he's very good at that. Mm -hmm. He has some very good equipment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Nick's somebody who I wish I could talk to more, but I feel like I have to learn how to play Apex to do that. <laughs> I really True. don't want to fucking play Apex. No, like, yeah, I really that don't. game seems boring. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. What about any other streamers outside of OTK? Uh, when I went to the streamer awards, my favorite person that I met was Nihachu. She's a mine. She plays Minecraft. Nihachu, I haven't heard of them. Oh, but yeah, she's it's not a, a hot chubby, right? No, 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 not it's not her. Not okay, hot chubby, but Nihat, Nihachu. I'm why, pretty sure. It's why did you start streaming? Um, so I tried to be a YouTuber. At first, when COVID started, because I was super bored. Wait, so it was it was like recent. Yeah, 2020, I started. So yeah. me and you started around the same time then. Yes. Okay, that's crazy. But yeah, I wanted to be a YouTuber during COVID, and then I'm like, oh my god, editing is so hard. Like I had to do all the editing. Sure is. And, yep. And, like took so much time out of my day. So then I'm like, I'll just do live stream stuff, though, so that I don't have to edit, and mm -hmm. I'll just be live. And I liked it a lot more. So. Was there like any like motive behind it? And like, how'd your family? Did your family like that? Or yeah, did yeah. They hated it. They were like, "Oh my god!" I remember my dad like yelled at me. He was like, "Emily, why are you spending so much time streaming?" Uh, and I'm like, "But dad, I'm passionate about streaming." Like this is like my first weekend. Yeah. And he's like, "Passionate about streaming? You should be passionate about studying." Oh <laughs> like, my god. Like, he's like, "You should be studying for law school or uh, business school or something." I'm like, "No, that's so boring." But uh, they were really against it. But then when I started making more money, they're like, okay, I get, I kind of get it. And now they're really supportive of me. Exactly. Like, so my mom, like, as soon as I'm like, yeah, uh, so I figured I'm just going to make YouTube videos and I'll make a bunch of money off of that. She's like, oh, yeah, for sure. Go for it. You're going to do fine. It's okay. Oh, and yeah. like, my dad was like, okay, all right, you're going to do this. And I remember I told my dad, I'm like, yeah, dad, I'm going to do a stream tonight. Mm -hmm. And he's like, what the hell is that? And I'm like, it's basically where like, like you go and people watch you play a video game. And he's like, why the hell would anybody do that? <laughs> why would anybody watch you play a video game? If it's they like, play it themselves. I, it's like, I don't know, but they do it. Yep. And so he's like, okay, that's fine. Just don't let it get in the way of work. <laughs> and uh, I'm like, all right. What well, was work? I was just making videos and stuff oh, like that. Oh. Yeah. But because like I was making money from that at the time. Oh, and then the next day, I remember I had lunch with him at Wendy's and I'm like, so he even asked me, he's like, so uh, how's that thing that uh, you did, like that, uh, like that thing where they watch you play games? I'm like, oh, it went great. He's okay. like, it did. And I'm like, yeah, I made $150. What? He says, yeah. what? <laughs> and I'm yeah. like, yeah. yeah. And I, he's, he asked me, he's like, well, what were you selling? I'm like, nothing. Wow. He says, well, then why did they give you money? I say, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and, and then he's like, well, you're oh. going to be doing it again tonight, huh? <laughs> and then that was it. After that, my dad was my biggest fan. Yay! That's so yeah. cool. My dad's also my biggest fan now, too, which yep. feels so good. That's great. I remember when, like, I first started the grind, like, they were like, I don't know. Some of my family members were like, bro, that's so fucking stupid. So I was like, all right. The moment I get told I can't do something, yeah. I'm like, well, now I got to fucking yeah. do it. Exactly. Right? And so I, like, I went, like, I went, like, off the face of the earth for, like, eight months. And then I came back, and I was like, yo, dad, my brother Mike, you want to go out to eat? I thought, oh, yeah, we haven't heard of you forever. I would love to. I take him out to Cracker Barrel. I say, I'm going to pay, which <gasps> wow. was the first time I ever paid for him because I love Cracker Barrel. Yeah. And it was a huge moment for me because, like, my dad, full disclosure, he's really, he's really rich. Mm -hmm. Like, he's very rich. Um, but I took them out to eat, and I paid for the bill, which felt incredible. And I was like, I got $1,300. <gasps> Off of making off of making Twitch streams and YouTube videos. There you go. And my dad like teared up. He was so proud oh, of me. 
it was all my i love them so much they're so cool my dad uh i he i never really took him out to eat it was just like after i told him that i had made like a certain amount of money yeah whenever he would order his food he would just sit down <laughs> like and, and like i called him out on this on my stream and then he calls me up on the phone while i'm streaming mm -hmm. and he's like what the hell are you talking about how i wouldn't do that you're not paying for your old man like you make you make it a hundred thousand dollars you can't even buy me some food yeah. he's like, i had to do that because the kid wouldn't do it on his own can you believe that and then everybody in chat's like wow like fuck you asthma i'm like what? yeah <laughs> Is well, that his accent too? Not necessarily, but I it was like it was a it was kind of like that. Yeah, it was the t the same kind of tone. Yeah, and uh, yeah, after that, now uh, I have to if he gets me, I, I get food for him all the time. Mm. That's like uh, yeah. I think it's just like so crazy that I get to be, like be a streamer now because my parents never would have expected me to like do this and be like an online content creator or whatnot yeah. they're just like emily should be an engineer be a lawyer blah 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 mm. and now like they're like really happy they're like letting me do my own thing which is nice but they're are they viewers or no um my mom like lurks she has she's like emily i have two accounts so then your viewership goes up by two. Oh my and god like, thanks mom <laughs> but then uh yeah apparently i like said that on stream and then she was really mad at me so then she closed one of her accounts down Damn. What? Yeah, so now it's only plus one. Now it's showing as one. That's oh, really bad. Damn, you lost 50% of your viewership, bro. It's half fucking, the, yeah, really. Wow, that really sucks. <laughs> That's fucking what, what's the what's the account name? Would you say that? I don't know. Because oh. my dad's my dad's name is Techtone's father. Oh really? Yeah, it's so funny. Um <laughs> uh, her real her normal account's Z T C L L. It's like initials or whatever. Yeah. And then I don't know her second account. She never told me. So. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> but that was all gone. But yeah, sometimes I see her lurking. Mm -hmm. I, I know she's watching because she would like text me like the at the stream after. She'd be like, Emily, your room is so messy. I can't believe you would show that on stream. And I'm like, sorry, I'm just messy. Your room is fucking gross. But I cleaned it finally. I don't believe you. I did. It's really clean. Did you get the milkshake stain off the floor? That's still there. It's there for me. I mean, you just put a rug over it, something like that. That's yeah, cool. yeah, it's whatever. It's Same. not a big deal. Yeah, but the bugs, you know. Uh, no, because how are they going to get under the rug? If they're not there by now, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, yeah. things have a way of working themselves out. Like, it, it gets worse, and then it eventually stops getting worse. Because mm -hmm. it can't get that much worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I, I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, Aspen understands. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's totally okay. Apparently, something else that the world's not worrying about is uh, COVID. Apparently, it's no longer a public health emergency. Is that right? Apparently. It's been a public health emergency for the past three years. I'm going to be honest. We live over here in Austin, Texas. It was not a public health emergency in 2020. <laughs> people would show up. I remember everybody, like, people would have to wear the masks. Mm -hmm. But, like, people would just be shoulder to shoulder. This yeah. would not be a big deal. It's like, whatever. I remember there was one time there. I, I went to Chipotle. And this guy immediately, he pulls down his mask. There's a guy about had it with this mask thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> he puts it back up. And he takes it down again. He says, you know they killed JFK. <laughs> what <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, it was a long line wait. So I got to hear a lot about this dude. Wow. Yeah. And so, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Here, it was not even a big thing. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to think, like, did you ever have anybody that, like, got mad at you for, like, how you acted during COVID? <sighs> Mm, I I don't think so. Thank you. I never did. Like not over here. Oh, I did. Oh, oh that's because I was in New York. I was like wearing my mask, like doing all the normal stuff. Well, I would wear a mask because yeah. it's just like you know, at the time I was like, living with my mom, and so it was like, okay, well, I you know, of course I'm gonna wear a mask, right? You can't afford to be wrong. Right, right. But uh, other than that, yeah. Did they get mad at you for wearing a mask? People do. Yeah, they're wow. like, I can't believe that you bought into that <laughs> fucking bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> that fake fucking coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. Oh, God. Yeah, the old pandemic. Yeah, the pandemic. <laughs> oh, yeah. What if, if Bill Gates tell you jump off a bridge, you going to jump off the bridge, <laughs> too? Like that. Yeah. This Texan thing. Yeah. In Canada, it was crazy. Yeah. What? Like, they were nuts. You like, were in Canada in 2020? Yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah I only came to, I only came to back to the States for OTK. That's it. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, but it was nuts. Yeah. Uh, there'd be like times where like uh, I was in a pet store, I forgot my mask. Yeah. And I need to get food for my kitties. Uh -huh. Remember they were like, you don't have a fucking mask, so fucking leave. So really? then I yes, yeah, so then I would like leave. I would take off my shirt and then I would put it over my face like a ninja mask. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then go back in the store to get my fucking food. But they took it very seriously. Like, no, very shirtless. Serious. Yeah, no, what was fine. I mean, you, you could do that. That's fine. <laughs> Nipples are okay. Yeah. Well, it would also like cover me to like here because oh, my shirts were big. I, I wear big ass shirts. Oh. 
But yeah, COVID was nuts. I mean, it seemed like everybody was dying. It's it's crazy. Like, I was so happy to come to Texas because I hate the mask. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like I can barely breathe out of my nose, so mm-hmm. it's hard to breathe in a mask. Even though technically, so technically, you're getting the same amount of airflow. I don't feel like that, mm-hmm. and it freaks me the fuck out. I hated that shit. But when I came back, got to take off the mask for Austin, Texas. I remember I went to uh, Walmart with Russell. Mm-hmm. It was amazing. I was like, holy <laughs> fuck, there's no mask here? Yeah. That shit was crazy. I was also teaching uh, Russell to drive, too. But I think he's a full-fledged driver now. Now, well, oh, wow. that's because you, yeah. I know, because of me. I made Russell. Did you guys get COVID ever? Uh, I think, yeah, I did. I, I got COVID. I had, like, a bad day. I remember I b- uh, blew out a bunch of, like, bloody snot and oh, shit. Oh, dear, yes. I was sick for, like, a couple of days. Uh-huh. I just started streaming after that. It is one of this. Yeah, yeah not me. That's Never? That, no, 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 no. When that shit hit me, oh god, that shit was like a nuclear bomb. Really? Yeah, it felt like I could not breathe, like wow. out of my lungs. It felt like my lungs were getting air, but it was going through them, not in them. Mm-hmm. And so I was freaking the fuck out every day. It was like three weeks, maybe even longer. What? It was, it was bad. Three weeks? Yeah. You would take tests like every few days, and it would still be positive. No. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. No, I. So okay. I did not get tested, but there's no way what I had wasn't. There was no way that it just wasn't COVID. Uh. Like COVID gets released. You know, we're like, it's like the Yeah, alpha. I had the same thing. Yeah. yeah, and it was just like lungs gone, dry, like sweat, yeah. so hot. Or like, was so cold, but sweating at the same time. It was so bad. I got yeah. it uh, once, but it was similar to Asmin's where it's just like a like a sickness. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Went, went and gone. But I was horrified that I would get the taste and smell gone because I love Oh, food. that would have been horrifying. And I, yeah. yeah, that would have been like, oh. You're, you're, you're a foodie? Yeah. Well, I'm not really a foodie anymore in Texas because the food here is not as good as New York. <laughs> I would kind of expect that. Yeah. yeah it's hard what to be New York like, food. Like, I love New York. The best thing about New York to me was their sushi. Like, how how much? Oh, Asmin oh, hates. God. Wait, no. I want oh, Asmin to try sushi. Wait, no, no, no. If you like sushi, there, there's no way that New York has better sushi. It's cheaper and better. It might be cheaper. Yeah. I'm going to just say these restaurants. You've been to Soto. Yes. Right? Have you been to Otoko? No. The $500, like, omakase. It's $500. Like, that's crazy. It changed my life. Really? Oh, my God. I went there. I'm not going to say just in case they don't want me to say it, but I went there with some homies, like, real good homies. Yeah. Like some best best friends. So if you know who I'm talking about, I fucking love you. <laughs> went there with Otoko. Uh-huh. It was me and the three of them. $500 per. Okay. They sit you in a room, and it's just one chef and, like, maybe, like, one waiter. Mm-hmm. It's a, a room completely illuminated by light. Uh-huh. Like, there's lights on the walls. It's all the same shade. And they just make the food. They put it in your fucking mouth. <laughs> they feed you. Oh, oh my God. Funny. It was, it was like an awakening. I was like, I did not know food could taste that good. Really? It was that incredible. But Soto is like, my, that's my yeah, spot. Yeah, I like Soto. I fucking love that place. I don't want to go to Otoku. <laughs> why, why don't you just cook the fish? <laughs> well, there are some cooked fish, but the other, the majority of it's not. Well, it's like you got the good, it's like there's seaweed in it. Like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> it, the, the- I don't understand. Leave the fish alone. You got <laughs> cows, you've got beef. What the hell do you need? If, if you've ever experienced like eating Eat a pig. fuck ton of salmon sushi, like it makes you feel like you're a god. Really? Yeah, because your blood flows so good because it, uh, the fish oil is an anticoagulant. Uh-huh. So like you, like your brain works better, your eyes work better. At least, or maybe, maybe there's something fucked up with me. Yeah, I feel like I'm going fucking super saiyan. I'll order like oh. 25 pieces of the uh, sake toro, and then I scarf that shit down. Oh my god, bro, I love sushi so much. It's my favorite. Oh. It's the best. We I'm, should go sometime. I'm, I would. I would. Yeah, like I went. I was seer to Soto. Yeah. And we got the deluxe omakase. Yep. We just sat there for three and a half hours. Yeah. Maybe. We were just chilling, getting drunk, that's, eating sushi. That's great. I cried. <laughs> it was <laughs> so. It was so good, as but fuck, I wish you liked sushi. It's so. I good. don't. I don't think I could ever handle sushi. So you yeah. like fish, but only when it's cooked. I like steaks. Okay. Yes. And 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 the thing is that. I, I felt the same way you did with COVID because there was one time I ate a steak whenever I had COVID and I couldn't taste it that well. And I was like, this is the worst thing in my life. Mm-hmm. And then it came back like oh, an hour right. later. It was like, whatever, it's not a big deal. But uh, still, it stressed me out so much. No, I would never eat sushi. <laughs> I would never because I, I don't need it. You don't need it. Like maybe one day I would do it as like a joke or something like that for like yeah. a meme. Ah, maybe sure. But like, nah, bro. Like it's we have steaks. There is steak sushi. <gasps> Wagyu. What? It's good. Well then what what? Yeah. They like they lightly steer the steak. They put it on top. 
Oh, you would give, love give that. it some nice uh, vinaigrette. It's Why nice. not just cook it all the way? More juices, more tender. Juices with, with some rice. Yeah, it's, I would be willing to try that, but I don't think I would like it. Like I like my meat cooked. Mm. Like I like cooked, like beef jerky cooked. <laughs> like I'm talking about like well I, done. I'll, yeah, I want it not well done. Like fucking like uh, graduate graduation congratulations. <laughs> like beyond well done. <laughs> like oh, uh, totally. Fu- I'm talking about burnt. Yeah. Like that's the kind of food that I like because to me I'm like really weird about eating food that could even potentially be uh like not undercooked. Like it's yeah. just like it, it's like a mental thing. I, right? Have you ever you ever had beef tartare? No, it's, it's, that's like you're not raw meat. It's so good. It's yeah, so that's good. why I don't like it. And they crack an egg on top. Mm, oh my yum, god! Yum, yum. It's still, I I like love eating new foods, even if I don't think I'm gonna like it. I'll eat it anyways, just because like it unlocks like these neurons like in your fucking brain, where you're just like, yeah, like it just feels so good. Like uh, like oysters. I got into those recently. Love I was oysters. Always afraid. Tried them a little bit ago. Oh my fucking god, so fucking good, and they make you feel incredible. That's the most nasty ass shit I ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> That's disgusting. Like, what the hell is wrong with people? A lot. Look at that. That's a, oh my god. It looks what amazing. the? Amazing. Well, that. Why? Like, it's not. Co- put that on the grill. <laughs> no, but it's like salted and like really. There's no reason to eat that. Like, listen. Like you, beef jerky. That's all you need. Mm, beef jerky. I've been yeah, thinking, that's right. I've been thinking about getting into dry aging. Okay. You ever seen that? that? Oh, you ever heard of dry aging? No. It's the coolest shit. Dry aging. How does it work? So you take a, a like a steak, mm-hmm. yeah, and then you just put it in a, in a in a machine, and then you just leave it there for like sixty days. Okay, all the outsides like dry out. Okay. But the insides like intensify the flavor, uh-huh. right? So then you cut off the outside, and you get left with a smaller steak. But now everything is like, look at that shit. Ew. But the inside, I've I've tried it. Oh my fucking god! Talk about a experience. You get this funk that's just like it's. I know you look grossed out. Like smoker's <laughs> lung or something. It does, but there's this guy called Guga Foods who does dry aging videos. Oh my god, it's the coolest shit. You crack into it, you cook it up, and it just—it's the most intense beef flavor you will ever taste. It is insane. Mm. It's insane. I want to start doing that just for fun. Is it soft? Oh, yeah. Okay. It is unbelievably tender, unbelievably. It's a little bit drier, mm-hmm. uh, hence dry age, but the flavors are fucking mm-hmm. nuts. Like, you you cannot replicate that. It's so hard to put into words. Mm-hmm. I fucking love it. I'm, I'm like on pretty much all steak diet right now. Really? That's smart. Yeah. How are you feeling? Incredible. Yeah. Protein. Yeah. Yeah. Like, literally, like, I just have, like, like a shit ton of steak, and then I'll just have, like, a couple pieces of broccoli, sweet potato. That's about it. Wow. It's That's so it good. All? Yeah, pretty much. What about the sushi? I do those on my cheat days. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, so Wake says I get uh, two cheat days a week. A week? So okay. when I have my cheat day, I go get sushi. Dead ass. Mm. That is exa- I get flounder. I get salmon. And then I probably get some, uh, probably a little bit of caviar, too, and some uh, Tobiko. Mm. That shit good. That sounds yummy. It's real good. Oh. Well, I'm going to be honest. Like, <laughs> yeah, last night, like, my dad, I figured, like, you know what? I'm going to go to my dad's house, and I brought over two steaks. That's $4. And I cooked up that and a baked potato, and we ate it, and then we watched TV. Oh, so And it that's it. That's it. That's it. Wait, it doesn't wait. need to be any more complicated than that. Where do you get your $2 steak from? H-E-B. Got it. H-E-B. I get the $2 steaks. They're delicious. I never need to get anything else. Like, if I go out somewhere, I'll get a steak, Mm -hmm. and they're nice. They're great. But I also like my $2 steaks, and it's more than enough. I need to try that. Me too. Yeah, Yeah, I want to try that. Is there anything that you would feel, like, remiss if you, like, weren't to say, like, right now before, like, the podcast? I love booty. Okay. That's it. (laughs) You know, speaking of love, this guy loves our podcast. His name is Kimbo Slice 88 uh, who actually rated us five stars on Apple Podcasts. Thank you. Uh, and he says, I'm not even a real gamer. Honestly, never heard of any of you guys until my boyfriend played a podcast of y'all. And I was like, who are these people? How can I listen to more? I love the randomness of every show. <laughs> that's true. Very sweet. Yeah, I, I think that's just about fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Great. 
Well, uh, thank you guys very much for uh, for watching. Thank you, Extra Emily, for Thanks. being part of the show and coming on Ooh. and uh, hanging out with us. Thanks for having me. It was really fun. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Yes. So, yes, guys, thank you all so much for watching. We really appreciate it. And uh, what else? Do we have anything else to sell out for? <laughs> Yo, our Patreon's lit. Check it out. Ooh, it's Ooh. lit. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. So true. Yes, guys. So, uh subscribe to the patreon uh subscribe to the channel uh you know we're on apple uh spotify youtube everything else like that but thank you guys all so much for watching we will see you all in the next one Emmy, what's the most hood rat shit, like bad shit you did whenever you were a kid? The then? most hood rat shit? The most shit? hood rat shit. Because like Tectone has all kinds of dumbass stories. <laughs> I have dumbass stories. Come on. There's got to be something besides playing piano and violin. I shoplifted from a Claire's once. Oh, no, you didn't. A Claire's? What'd you take? Wait, wait. I don't remember like a bracelet or some shit. How much? How much? Yeah, how much was it? I don't know, like $8? What the fuck? But you're going to hell, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs>